New tonight, an 82-year-old Marion woman is in a Fort Wayne hospital facing a tough recovery. She was seriously hurt in a hit-and-run crash while in her wheelchair. Well, police did find and arrest the driver. The victim's family is upset that he already, right now, is out on bond. Mary Mills in Marion today with more on the crash and that family's growing frustration. What happened here is just horrible. This is where Nancy Furnish was hit, and over here, that's where she wound up. We're told that she had to have both legs amputated and remains in critical condition. People along West 14th Street were used to seeing 82-year-old Nancy Furnish and sometimes her husband passing by on their motorized wheelchairs. Now he's at her bedside at a Fort Wayne hospital praying she survives. Sound like a car hitting a car. And I, that's when I came out to see what it was, and the lady's laying in the yard there. Uh, somebody hit her, the wheelchair was busted up all over there, and she was all twisted up. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty. Police say Furnish, here's a recent picture, was on her wheelchair Tuesday night around 9.15 when she was hit head-on by a car that just kept going. It was light enough out here to... Uh, you know, to see the woman and everything, you know. Didn't take a second glance at what he did. But Nathan Schininger did see the driver and called police. A man driving the car, four-door Grand Prix, looking at his cell phone as he drove by my house. 50-year-old Ralph Dwayne Harding Jr. was pulled over and arrested the next day on charges of leaving the scene of a crash. Police say Harding told them he has poor vision and thought he'd hit a mailbox. Furnish's daughter, Teresa Sloan, who's been keeping vigil with family members, is furious. He don't hit anything and not look. I really can't get myself to believe he didn't know he hit my mom. Harding was released from jail Thursday after bonding out. We went to his Marion home and knocked on the door. While someone peeked through the blinds, no one answered. My mother's been at the hospital since Tuesday. I haven't seen my bed since Tuesday. And he walked out of the jail a free man, and my mom will never walk again. The Grand County prosecutor told me while he doesn't think the crash was intentional, Harden did leave the scene of an accident, and he has heard from more witnesses, so there could be additional charges. In Marion, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.